In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to perform normalized difference moisture index in QGIS. So before going into this video, let us first understand what is a NDMI. So normalized difference moisture index is used to determine vegetation water content and monitoring and for monitoring droughts. The value ranges of the NDMI is minus one to plus one. That active value of NDMI value approaching minus one corresponding to barren soil. So the values approaching to minus one is barren soil. The values around zero that is minus 0 0.2 to 4 generally corresponds to water stress. That there is a water stress in the vegetation. High positive values represents high canopy without water stress from 0 0.4 to 1. So this is the normalized difference moisture index. So let us see in QJS how to perform it. So we require the following bands. Let me show you that. So for a moisture index, we require band 8A and band 11. So you can see the formula band 8A minus band 11 divided by band 8A plus band 11. So open your QGAS and go to the option layer. Here add raster. For example, let me show it to you once again. So this is the Sentinel data which I downloaded from the Copernicus Copernicus data space ecosystem. After extracting the file, navigate. So in R20 meter, you can find those bands, band 80 and band 11. So open it and add it to the QJS workspace. Now close it. So we have successfully added two bands. You can differentiate those bands. For example, you can see in the last band 80 and you can see here at the last band 11. You can see the spatial distribution of 20 meters, 20 meters. Now go to the option raster and select raster calculator. Now here we are going to insert the formula. Open the bracket band 80 minus band 11 close the bracket divided by once again open the bracket band 80 plus band 11. Now close the bracket. So we have successfully input the formula. Now we need to uh, save the output layer. Click this button. So I am going to save it as NDMI normalized difference moisture index. Hit the button save. Now to begin the process click OK. So it took me a, uh, almost a couple of minutes. Now let me We bring the layer to the top. This is the NDMA value. So you can see here it is ranging from minus 0 0.2 to 0 0.48. And you can see here the values might be uh, closer to minus 1 also. So in this case, I am just getting the value uh, minus 0 0.2 to 0 0.4 and which uh, clearly indicates uh, major, majority majority of the area is under stress few area is uh, in uh, 0 0.4 or greater values now properties so i'm going to invert the colors And you can see here the negative values is being uh, indicated in the dark brown, light brown, and the positive values 
So I have chosen this color ramp for this. Now apply, click OK. Now let us see. The dark blues represents the area which is uh, in a good uh, vegetarian is in a good healthy condition. So likewise you can do. If you have any other doubts, please do ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Goodbye everyone.